Hey everybody, welcome to Ninja Tutorial Series and today we are going to learn how to do Summon Letter, the most iconic upper body obstacles on Ninja Warrior competition all over the world. And I've heard that perfect technique is copying the Summon movement upstream. It didn't work for me though. First thing first, it is high impact move, so warm up is the must have. Shoulders, elbows, some pull ups, and my personal preferences is little hops on the bar, which prevents you from being too surprised to have the impact on your joints. Ninja Warrior obstacles are becoming more popular all over the world, but unfortunately, nowadays there is no standard here. So that's why it's very important what kind of obstacle to work with. They can be plastic, wooden metal, the different run length, weight of the bar. That's why some techniques have advantages and disadvantages of different type of summon ladder. When you finally got to the summon ladder, the first touch is very important because we are talking about grip type. The regular grip, the mixed grip, and opposite grip. But in this case, opposite grip doesn't work well, and you can experiment, and some advanced technique requires opposite grip, but we're not going to talk about this today. So basically, we have two options. It's regular grip and mixed grip. Both of them have its own advantages and disadvantages. Regular grip gives you advantage of higher reach, and it gives you very high chance that you will be even with the bar, but it has a huge disadvantage, it will destroy your forearm strength, especially on a competition when someone later usually eighth obstacle or somewhere in the end of their course run, you will be tired there and the chance that you will peel is very high. The huge advantage of mixed grip is preventing bar from spinning. But the disadvantage of the mixed grip, because of the position of the hands, you cannot reach as high as the regular grip, otherwise your shoulder mobility is excellent. And uh, the second disadvantage is you have to practice to be sure that you're even, because such a grip can't guarantee you that your bar will be even. And yeah, one more thing, if you do mixed grip too much and a lot, you might develop some imbalance in your upper body, so be careful. Okay, so the first and the most obvious technique on the summon letter is the power pull-up. It requires a lot of explosive strength. So you pull yourself up as high as possible and when you feel that your body reaching the weightless moment, you lift the bar and put it on the next rung, pushing forward and down. Pretty simple, requires a lot of strength and uh, doesn't have any secrets at all. Next one is something that I call crossfit pull-up because it's basically copying the crossfit pull-up. Anyways, the good way to understand the move you just go on a static bar and try to do this kind of motion with the body, kicking your legs and hips forward, pulling yourself up using the momentum and finding this weightless spot when your body weights nothing. And this is what we are seeking for. This is the good moment for a placed bar on the next rung. And if you do it in a row, it actually does look like a summon. Okay, next technique, I call it swing technique, but again, on some kind of summon letters it will not work because you will just like slide off the ranks and never come back. Anyways, if you have a wooden summon letter or angle of the ranks is high enough to prevent you from sliding out from the ranks, this might work too. So the motions is, looks like a gymnastic swing back in the front support. I actually have no idea how it calls in gymnastics, but this is one of the basic movements on the high bar. So on the swing back you continue to pull the bar uh, towards your hips and leaning forward, generate the weightless momentum and uh, stay up on the bar. And on the summer letter, the same motion, but instead of going in the front support on the weightless moment, you just put the bar on the top. It also works when you are backwards. Nowadays, there are some different techniques for different body types and different strength level, and I'm pretty sure that with practice you can easily find something that will work specifically for you. Thank you for your time, I hope you learned something new, and don't forget that new skills require a lot of practice. So, practice.